Hey guys, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I'm gonna try to make this a weekly occurrence and I hope you'll join me for all of my uh, wellness tips as well as just some tricks I've learned throughout the year. I've been a massage therapist for actively, I think it was 14 years. So I know a thing or two. I've seen things work. I've seen things not work and have to shift gears. And then some uh, experimenting along the way, as well as you guys know, I do doTERRA. So we've got some products to help, uh, but this video is full of tips for everyone. If you're not ready to join my team yet, but you're on the fence, you know, maybe this will give you that push too. <laughs> so uh, here we go. So head discomfort. So I'm gonna be speaking again compliantly. Compliant language is very important when we're talking about use of supplements and natural remedies and techniques and things. Because while I'm a licensed massage therapist, I'm not a doctor and we can't use drug terms or, you know, these are not meant to treat, prevent, cure disease. So if you have a problem, definitely if it's more um, debilitating, if you're pregnant and you're having um, eyesight issues, okay? If you are having migraines, you make sure you call your doctors, make sure you are being responsible, okay? I'm a very do-it-myself kind of gal, but I see doctors too, so I'm not telling you to not see your doctors, but hopefully this video will be helpful for you if you just have those nagging, occasional head discomfort things or a chronic problem. Uh, this is gonna help everybody, okay? So please like and share, subscribe. I will be posting this as well to my YouTube video if you're here for the rewatch and replay. Say hey. <laughs> and my two-year-old's awake. She's not napping today. There's her little sippy cup. I had it all cleared off until I didn't, you know what I'm saying? But here we go anyway. Okay, first headache that, uh, oh, sorry, head discomfort. Headache is a, it's a drug, it's a whole thing, okay? So I'm addressing head discomfort today is gonna be your frontal, hey Sarah, it's gonna be your frontal headache, your forehead, sorry. Ugh. I don't know if I have to like bleep those out or what, but you got, you know what I'm saying? Okay, discomfort, forehead, okay? Very simple. So you're gonna take your thumb. Yes, I have nails. You can even do it if you have nails. It's not like you have to not. <laughs> uh, you're gonna take the pad of your thumb and you're gonna take the edge of your pointer finger here, okay? And this is gonna be your gripping. If you have a nail, it might need to go a little bit to the side here. You see that, okay? And you're gonna find your, here, I'm gonna show you guys on this. Okay, your sternocleidal mastoid, also known as your SCM muscle, okay? So it's called that because sternum, okay, here we are, sternum, okay, sternum. And it goes also with your clavicus, okay, AKA collarbone. It's a dual headed down here and it goes up to the same part but to your mastoid process, okay, up into your head and jaw, okay? So how you find that, I call it the supermodel <laughs> um, muscle. I'm a little overweight to see it really well now, but the supermodel muscle is when those supermodels really strike the pose. You can see this muscle very clearly. So I'm engaging it a little bit right now, so you see it very clearly right here. Okay, so that's your SCM. So you're gonna find it, maybe, you know, clench a little, you do that, It'll, it'll go up, your uh, other muscles will engage too, but you can feel it as you turn your head laterally, okay? And you'll feel it there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a nice, try to pinch, don't, don't choke yourself. It's gonna be right on the side of your trachea. And you're gonna grab, you can lean forward a little bit, a little forward neck flexion is gonna help. And then you'll feel when you got it, then you're like, woo! So it's gonna feel like some sort of a rope in there. And you're just now going to compress slightly until it hurts so good. So if we're on a scale to one to 10, so what I'd always use with my clients, I'm gonna look for hurts so good. Okay, so like a seven. One is like can't feel anything. 10 is excruciating pain. So we want to be right on that, oh, that feels good massage zone. That is therapeutic zone. This is my philosophy for pretty much 99% of all massage 
It is not no pain you gain. You don't want to excite your adrenal glands. You don't want adrenaline response. You don't want to start sweating on the table. That's going to hurt you. It's going to bite you in the butt. You want a good therapy session. Okay. So once you find that seven, it's going to be true for each one. So as I talk through it this time, and this is going to be nice and red, <laughs> uh, you'll apply this to every muscle we're going to encounter. Okay. You grip until you reach the seven, and then you hold your pressure. It's called ischemic ish ish compression. <laughs> uh, it means you reach a point and then you hold. Okay, you're not gonna go past that. You're not gonna start pushing again to reach the seven. Once it starts releasing, this muscle's funny. Once you kind of get it to that point, it'll like, it. I'm gonna speed it along here. Apparently this needs a little work, but it'll kind of, kind of like pop out of your grip once it releases and then you'll have you know you'll get blood flow in there but now I'm like Ooh, I'm gonna move that I don't like that either it was bothering me I hope I, I'm sure it wasn't bothering you but okay does that make sense and now you can move on the other side you can move all the way up and down this muscle okay you can go up higher. Now careful, there's lymph nodes in there. All right, so it's safer to do for a layman, a little bit lower where you can get a good grab, but you're not gonna be pushing in or anything. We're not pushing into the neck. Please don't push in, don't push into your trachea. We are finding the muscle, maybe in a slight pull, but it's just basically pinch. You're just pinching the muscle between the pad inside of your first finger pad of thumb okay and you'll feel it it'll be like oh and a lot of times if you have an active head discomfort going on this will either intensify what you're experiencing or block it okay and make sure you're, after you're done drink lots of water okay uh, you should be drinking about half your body weight in ounces. If you're getting body work or using essential oils or something that's detoxing you, add you know, another 15, 20 ounces a day, okay? Your urine should run clear, okay? There we go, that's I'm a little more balanced out there, okay? That's your, that's your goal for your urine, that's how you know you're hydrated, is it's running clear, okay? True story, true story, yes. Maybe not right now, but yes, I've, I've uh, Definitely achieved that many, many a times. Okay, second head discomfort, typical that I heard from people all the time, still hear from people, is going to be the temples. And I didn't find that picture. That's funny. Oh, I grabbed my, I grabbed all the other ones. I was like, yes, I'm so prepared for this. I guess not, but it's your second head trap. Come on, come on, you guys, come on. I don't know, second head trap. And why it's second head trap is because of referral zone. So we learned that in trigger point therapy. Um, each, uh, here we go, each muscle has an area that is gonna refer pain to a mapped location, like 99% of the time. Same with our nerves and stuff. So when you got that sciatic pain, it's getting pinched one of three places. I'm gonna be doing a review video on um, that sciatic stuff and how to release that as well for you guys. Um, but same concept, here we have our trapezius muscle. Big, big muscle, technically, it's a back muscle. But because we, you know, jut our head forward or shoulders roll forward, this second head trap holds a lot of tension because it's holding our pretty, pretty much our whole arm up. That's not its job. And then it's also strained from our head being too far forward. So we're talking, we need to roll the shoulder back and bring the head back up. It's an, it's like a, a balls turning and, and coming up at the same time. We are elongating the spine through the back of the spine. We're not popping the chest. 
we are elongating up. Do you see the difference? It's this, not that, okay? It's this, this stays down and open, and we have our second head trap behind the hair here, okay? A lot of times people have it and it's really far forward and it's gonna be really tight and that's not what we want. We want it back, it's a back muscle. So I'm gonna show you how to address that. It's this guy here, okay? First head, trapezius, second head, third and fourth head goes all the way down to your 12th thoracic vertebrae, okay? Attaches to your occiput on your skull. Huge, huge, all along, all along the ridge here, the scapula, all the way down, okay? So here's the second head trap from the front. See, it kind of comes in forward a little bit. It attaches slightly on the clavicle, but it's technically, it's a back muscle. We want to put it back in the back, okay? So again, we've got that pincher grip. And so this one, I like to kind of pull pull my shoulder a little forward so you can again, again if I was if I was skinnier right now you'd really be able to see it, there's almost like an indent in there and you can grab you know but we do what we do we're we're getting there we're getting there guys and you're going to really push the pad of your thumb into that kind of just skin depression all right oh good and and then with all your pads of your fingers you're just going to get get a good, you know, I engage forward and then you've got to relax your shoulder so that you can actually release a real, a lot, re, 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 release the relaxed muscle. Um, you don't want, you don't massage engaged um, muscles unless you're more learned, I guess. It's a very specific technique for the most part. Um, I encourage you guys to work on yourselves or your friends, family um, in a relaxed position. Sitting up isn't the ideal, but if you did this on a bed, it would be even better, especially on your back. You can go around and pull. Same thing with that, you know, find that seven, you grip until it releases. And then this one, I like to also just push, you're gonna push and skin, um, not called skin rolling, but you're gonna like rub against your skin a little bit. You do not need lotion for this because we want some grip. You're just very, you guys can see this, I think. You're just gonna find that depression. You're just gonna push back very slowly. I'm moving like a millimeter a second. I feel like that's kind of releasing even a little better than the grip was, okay. And then chest down. So this is this is a posture tip for you, free of charge. <laughs> uh, shoulder goes up. Rotate and roll. See, see, this is the front of my and top of the humerus. Gonna roll that back. Woo! Do you see that? Roll it back. Really engage your rhomboids back there, and then you're gonna let it drop. Okay, chest. Remember, chest down. Okay, and that, friends, that is a neutral shoulder. Okay, let gravity bring it down. See, even compared to this one, I haven't undone this. The habit is to be too far forward as our American habit, desk work and whatnot. And then if you were to just bring your little lower arm up, I'm going a little high here, but that's typing. Typing's right in front of you. And it's after you set your shoulder, you let gravity have it, arm straight down. And then that's typing, so that's gonna help with the, I can't say the P word, you guys know what I'm saying? Um, there's the baby. Uh, it'll help with the tightness happening chronically. Okay, there, so up, back, and down. Good, all right, chest stays down. That's the hard one. So otherwise you're gonna get thoracic back um, compression and pain back there, and that's why people hate posture, because it's this, and then I'm too tired, and then this, and now you're going from two extremes to slumped over and to overarched. Yeah. Gonna find that happy medium where we're elongated yeah. and relaxed, okay? All right, so that was for the temple region. You notice I didn't touch the temple area at all. 
at all. You can, you do whatever feels good, but I'm telling you, a lot of the time, it comes from the trap, second head trap. This part, we're all right here, is when it's too tight, when it's holding and it's chronically um, compressed, okay? Compressed, contracted, okay? Muscles only contract, okay? All right. <sighs> issues, issues, fascia, everything's tight, right? So, okay. Now, third most common head discomfort we have is behind the eyes, right? Or eye, like, discomfort. It can go into more of that nerve feeling like a migraine, and it's still just going to be actually technically tension discomfort. Okay, tension. You know what I'm saying, that H word. Oh. Uh, okay, so back of that, and also back of the head. So sometimes you'll have that kind of even zingy. Sometimes it feels very zingy to come up and over the head, or you feel the pain um, behind the eyes, or just discomfort. Oh, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get perfect at it one of these days. Please don't report me. <laughs> so, uh, what we're gonna have here is two main muscles, but it's kind of the same area. But I'm gonna tell you what it is specifically as well. So we've got do, 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 do. not that one first. All right. So we have all of these extensor muscles of the vertical column of your spine, okay? Specifically, we've got here is your splenius capitis muscle, okay? Services as well, but more so the one, this one obviously attaches, excuse me, right into the skull again. So right there in the occiput and, and then down onto the spine, okay? Down onto... Uh, Function structure, capitis. Uh, down, at, I think it looks like the first four or five of your thoracic vertebrae. Okay, and then, so, okay, I'll show you that one first. So it kind of comes wide. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do the other side. Maybe we'll give the right side some love a little bit too. Okay. It's mm, light. Okay, all right. So, you saw how wide that went and down onto the spine as well. It's pretty much, if you're just gonna put your pads on the back of your neck and you're not touching your spine, okay? So you're not touching your vertebrae, you're just lateral of your vertebrae, you're gonna be just about there. And if you just kind of wiggle around Services definitely as well then as I'm feeling around, which is, here, I'll give you. Um, okay, they're all kind of just right there, right? On the lateral part of the, the spine, they attach down here, but then they're gonna come up into here. And you're just going to give it a nice forward compression where you find kind of a knot that's just kind of tender. That's gonna what you're searching for. Mine's actually a little bit more towards the ver uh, vertebrae, but do not push on bone, <laughs> okay? We don't massage bone, we massage soft tissue, okay? And then as I'm feeling a little bit more lateral and going towards the occiput, I'm feeling the, more the capitis, so it's gonna be more out a little bit. And again, you're just gonna push. You find that seven that hurts so good, compress, and you wait for it to release. Okay, this one will you know, slide out of your hand or anything, but you'll kind of feel it melt. Okay, you'll feel um, sometimes a pulling away. Sometimes I follow that pulling away. If it's more of like a little knot that I can feel, a little trigger point, I'll follow it a little bit. Sometimes it will melt completely and other times it just loosens, okay? Uh, so that, that's kind of your initial spot. And you can do both at the same time. You can do some rub ups up and down. Again, I'm not using any lotion. 
Um, and I wouldn't for this part, and I'll show you at the end what products I like to use for like a, okay, sorry, I like pushed on you hard all over the place. But again, we're not a hurts, uh, no pain, no gain. We are not a no pain, no gain philosophy here. We are in a hurt so good philosophy here, okay? So you just kind of find, you know, just be kind to yourself. We want to have a movement in our neck. We want to increase mobility when we're done. We don't want to cause any issues or uh, increase your discomfort when you're done, okay? So up and down a little, just, you know, rub it real nice. Okay, and then this is the more important, that's just kind of actually the most important part of the, uh, that reason why we did that right there is so we can get to this next muscle. Okay, because the splenius capitis, right, services, I think both, nope, it's not services because that's to the spine, but capitis attaches to the occiput, and now your more important, most important muscles to the behind the eye, behind the head, head discomfort, are your suboccipital. Sorry, I do have a forward facing camera here, but we're looking at the diagram here. Are these little guys, okay? Kind of a triangle shape attached to your spine here, okay? Both C1 and C2, as well as over you know, and attaching to the, um, why can't I think of it? It is the most deep directly beneath the occiput. So it's the most, uh, it's really under there. So if you're having a hard time doing this kind of a movement upwards, um, it's gonna be very hard. You might not even be able to reach these guys initially, okay? It is, for most people that I see, we they you sit like this, your chin's always out, and that really shortens and makes those muscles back there in the neck super compressed, okay? And now I remember what I was trying to say. Is there just the spine, <laughs> the spine, and then the transverse, okay, um, attachment there. And it does, you know, lateral flexion, rotation of the head a little bit, but they're the little guys. So they're gonna be the most deep ones there. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Unique actions, vertebrae and skull. Sorry, I was just reading. Reading that, okay. So how you find these guys, again, if you can't get to them, it's okay because you're, what you want to be doing is going to really grab under this, okay, your occiput. So you're going to feel the ridge of your occiput. Okay, it's called the ridge because here you can see, I feel like most people, so here's the suboccipitals. Wait, I mean, it's attached to your spine, right? Most people, I feel like I can barely reach this ridge, honestly, because their heads are so tilted this way. Okay, so it's, it can seem like you can barely see that. Babe, she was in the garage. Honey, the cat was in the garage. Okay, can't let the cat. <laughs> um, so if you can't get there, that's why it's really important to just then work with what you can do on the splenius capitis and all the other ones that attach here more on the upper, uh, on the upper higher part just really work on getting that because eventually you will with practice and keeping your focus there and elongating those muscles you'll be able to reach that better as well as sleeping when you go to sleep especially on your back or side this rotation of the neck it'll help with any grinding or clenching of the jaw grinding the teeth okay it'll help help that okay all right we're putting up floodlights out front Hi, Uncle Tim. Hi. <laughs> okay, so how you find them? Okay. Uh, kind of wiggle back and forth here. Okay. And you'll feel 
really deep in and now I see I even had to loosen that a little bit but now that you'll feel it it's pretty much in the center if you were to go from your ear to the middle of your spine okay on your actual vertebrae uh, it's about one third of the way towards the ear from from your vertebrae and you'll be able to feel it as you really look down it'll kind of give a little bulge out and you'll find that pocket or or that bulge if it's really tight and it's just up in there and again it's going to be a, a compression something else i like to do which we bought one and i can't find because i just of course i had it but now the kids have it is you can find those like double balls or you can make them yourself out of lacrosse balls you can tape them together or buy the balls that are together themselves like on Amazon and you just lay back on it kind of on your skull and right underneath it to just give yourself a chance to melt it you know just give yourself a chance to allow compression to do its job because if you're just up here like this and you're just trying to find it it can be very difficult to find the relaxation there so Laying down on that and letting that just melt away is going to do you uh, good. <laughs> Don't let her in the bed. <laughs> she loves getting on her bed. This is how we do, okay? Everybody can do this kind of thing. We're just doing it. All right. And again, that's you're going to feel either a block or an intensity behind your eyes or up your head. And now that I'm feeling that, I'm like, oh, that that really needed some work in there. Um, it can feel electrical. The occipital nerve right there as well, okay? Goes right through that area. So that's why occipital nerve eyes, you can have some of those eye issues going on and it's still gonna be tension related. It doesn't mean that you have um, more of an issue that needs highly intense therapies. Uh, again, I'm not a doctor. Uh, make sure you know what's going on. You get uh, more help if you need that. But it's, I've seen, I've, I've helped people throughout the years get rid of their quote migraines they used to be experiencing because this part was just so tight and so uh, locked up. All right, because that occipital nerve, obviously Sorry. nerves comes out of the spinal column and if they're blocked or tight for whatever reason, you're gonna have issues there, okay? All right, the fourth and final headache we're going over today, um, head issues, is gonna be hormonal. All right, so no massage technique with this. That is just related to yay, mostly women, sometimes men experience this, but for women, um, and now we're gonna jump into a little bit of talking some doTERRA things. I'm gonna um, hop back and forth with a few other non-doTERRA therapies, so stay tuned <laughs> for that as well, it is going to be our Clary Calm. I can't say enough about this oil blend from doTERRA. Uh, real quick, as a reminder, doTERRA is independently third-party tested. We have access to that testing. Um, they're above reproach on that, and you can trust that they're pure. We use more than organic farming practices, and if you wanna know about that, feel free to um, message me, and I'd love to just chat with you about that further, okay? So our Clary Calm, it's got oils like Vitex, which is also known as Chased Berry. Okay, so it's good for that time of the month, right? It's got fennel and geranium and lavender and bergamot and yiling -ling and a few other ones, okay? So wonderful for that time of the month, but if you have a head discomfort that is always happening at the same time, about every 28 days or the same few days, it is time to start applying this 
every day. And that is what I do every day. Initially, I was just applying it for that time of the month and for the cramping on my lower abdomen. But now I've realized that my mood is better, my ability to cope and adapt to my situations is a lot better because the last five years I've either been pregnant, had a miscarriage, or been nursing. Okay, so my body has been through a lot and I th I'm, I've just found immense help using this blend. I use it on my lower abdomen and then on the reflex points of the foot on uh, for the uter uterus. Oh, sorry, now I'm like, a lot going on back there. Hopefully you're sticking with me. <laughs> this is how we do it at the Thompson House. Your uterus and your ovaries, okay? All right. Um, I, again, I found immense help for that discomfort for hormonal um, discomfort in the head. Okay, so the last thing we're going to talk about is just going to be that nerve issues, those tingly electrical feelings can happen anywhere in the head, obviously down the arm. If you're at thoracic outlet syndrome, you've got the sciatic stuff, you've got all these just different things happening in your body. Find yourself a good chiropractor. Like, I can't stress that enough. You guys, there's millions of nerves, pathways going throughout your body. And honestly, we think of nerves as just like mostly going to your um, musculoskeletal system, but most of the nerves go to your organs, okay? And if you have issues going on throughout your spine, you could have different things going on correlating to that spot going on with your organs. Again, I'm not a doctor. Find yourself a good chiropractor. They have a lot of the same training as doctors. Ours actually is, <laughs> is our, um, basically our primary care physician. Uh, he's amazing. So uh, find yourself a good one. Okay. Another uh, supplement that you could look into, I'm not gonna give any brands. Make sure you do your research is going to be magnesium. Okay, if you have really bad tension, you can't seem to relax, you might be off in, in something like just magnesium. You can look for the single. Uh, magnesium's an interesting one, and diet's just this huge realm that I'm not super proficient in, but I believe magnesium, obviously, I think you have to have the calcium to be able to absorb it. I can't remember if it's K2 or not. Again, do your research. I've seen really good success while doing things at the Balance Studio in Palo Alto, how somebody's actually able to relax better, increasing their magnesium in their system, just even just a little bit. Uh, doTERRA's LLV supplements has magnesium, calcium. It's perfectly blended for your nutritional needs. So if you're already on that, great. I'm on just the half dose, you guys, and that does amazing for me. I mean, look at these nails. I mean, I forgot, like I, for a long time, I just went off of it. I just felt like I couldn't swallow well and had all these issues. And then I started back up with my good regimen and my nails are thriving. Okay, hair, skin, nails, you guys, that's something the body's not gonna put a lot of effort into until um, other things are well addressed. So encourage good supplements there. Obviously I used doTERRA. Okay, um, decrease your sugar intake, you guys. All right, that's kind of, gonna be typical, but increase water, decrease sugar, okay, in general. All right, so now a little, a few more of my awesome, guys, awesome products that I've had a lot of success with. I'm gonna start with the Deep Blue line. There's the Touch Oil, okay, there's the Touch, which comes in the roller, ready to go, pre-diluted for you, just roll on the spot. Uh, I feel like the oil is a little bit more potent, so I prefer the Deep Blue Rub, all right? It has, you know, that wonderful menthol smell. It's more of a bio-freeze than it is an Icy Hot. And it doesn't smell like Ben Gay. Like, it smells nice. Okay, it's got that menthol smell, but it's not, it doesn't, <laughs> you're not gonna smell like an old person, okay? All natural ingredients, really great. Um, does it have the, it does have wintergreen, so watch it if you're pregnant. Um, I was still using a tiny amount um, when I was pregnant, more so past the first trimester. 
this cat is ruining my lighting. Hi, hi. We'll just hold her so she'll be happier. Okay. Uh, so watch it there. Uh, has the oil and the touch line. So just the straight five milliliter um, neat. And then this wonderful, wonderful all natural rub. I just use like a pea sized. Okay, so something like after what we just did with that, that's when I, you know, pop this open. We've got, we will just do, you know, just a little bit. I just did a tiny, like a tiny bit. Okay, you don't need a lot. And you're just gonna apply like a lotion, wherever you just uh, worked on. <laughs> Anything to do with essential oils, wash your hands after if you're prone to touch your face. We shouldn't be touching our face anyway, especially now in our like 2020, okay? Don't touch your face. Uh, but if you do and you get some in your eye, pro tip, go grab the coconut oil right away or olive oil, some sort of oil loves oil and it'll help and it'll just swipe it out. Um, ideally with the non <laughs> oiled hand already, swipe it out, it comes right out. Um, otherwise it hurts, you know, like if you're cutting peppers and oil. So that's the essential oil getting in your eye, okay? All right, uh, so that's deep blue. We also have our deep blue polyphenol. Again, check with your doctor, but I took this when I was pregnant. It has great in all natural ingredients. Again, we've got the frankincense curcuminoids. Hello, that's classic uh, inflammation support there from turmeric, okay, you've got your tumorol, you've got your curcuminoids, okay? And in our turmeric, we have our curcuminoids and our tumorol, both in a, it's a cool little, so pause on the deep blue in there. Very similar to our PV Assist is the double encapsulated. Took them a long time to figure this out. This has been in the works many years, came out a couple years ago and has the great, if you're just using turmeric capsules powdered, you're getting some benefit, uh, but these are gonna get, really maximize your benefit of all of the good things that you want from turmeric, okay? Yeah, great. So turmeric rhizome oil, as well as the curcuminoids, great, great little, thing if you're if you're an athlete like working out and, and you got that you know we want some good inflammation but we don't want too much there right so the polyphenols have it in here a little bit let's keep going we've got ginger and green tea pomegranate grape seed extract and we've got do 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 caraway and peppermint and magnesium oh, I didn't even realize till just now there's some magnesium in here so uh, just a general support uh, I know people they take this every day as just a part of their regimen because they work out because we're just alive and breathing and the polyphenols are just so good for you and your adaptability okay uh, this one's not specifically has the adaptogens in it that's more of our mito2 max but wonderful help mood stabilizing things in there as well. Okay, uh, last couple. See, we're doing all right. Very good, hanging in with me. Okay, Copaiba. Copaiba, we've got the soft gels, which is easy, easy to pop in. They're not very big, so even if you have trouble with pills, they are just the little just the little soft gel guys and it has 120 milligrams taking one soft gel okay uh purse my personal favorite for gosh copaiba is good for everything digestive tract and immune support and respiratory support and uh it works with the uh, now I'm going to forget something to receptors and I'm drawing a blank. This is what I like to do with it though. While I think about, while I mull that over. Okay. One drop sublingually. 
need my water. Um, if you're using them internally, I only use doTERRA. I can't speak for everything essential oil wise. Um, this is a tree resin, very um, mellow, okay, oil, much like lavender or something. Uh, it says right on the bottle, it's nutrition facts, okay, take with four ounces of, of water. So increase your water intake, make sure you're drinking a lot of water when you're using essential oils. They're detoxifying for you and they work on the cellular level. They can pass through cell membrane, okay, um, some of the some of the molecules, okay. Okay, and CB2 receptors, there we go. <laughs> That's what they work with, much like it's, it's Copaiba is our, what is it called? I'm having some brain malfunction all of a sudden. CBD, okay, CBD oil substitute. Okay, the Copaiba works with the C, uh, CB2 receptors just like the CBD oil does, okay? It's a, not a curcuminoid, now I've got things in my head, and I'm stumbling over the last thing here. Cannabis, it's a cannabinoid, there we go. Got it. Now we're kicking with gas, all right. And that's it. There you go, you guys. Uh, so watch, rewatch, pause. I'd love it if you share. Uh, sorry for some of the distractions there. I thought they were just gonna work out front. <laughs> Not back and forth, welcome to my life. Uh, we do what we do. We're living life, we're loving life. Hope you guys are well, love you much.